Behold, my new best friend. This strange new deep sea creature was discovered at the bottom of the Monterey Canyon off the west coast of the US, found 3,268 meters down by an Mbari remotely operated vehicle. The new pink snailfish is described as being bumpy with huge eyes and a tadpole-like body, wide pectoral fins, and long upper rays. Collaborators from SUNY Geneseo, the University of Montana, and the University of Hawaii at Manoa have dubbed it the Bumpy Snail fish. They collected valuable information about their size, shape, and physical characteristics using microscopy, micro-CT scanning, and careful measurements. It's new to science, and it's my new best friend. This is the latest in science news. This is Mind Blow. The NSF Inoue Solar Telescope captured an incredible monster solar flare. It's revealed some of the best structures we've ever seen. It was actually the first time the telescope observed what they call an X-class flare, one of the most energetic events the sun produces. The solar flare, called the X1.3 class flare, was observed in August 2024 and has the smallest coronal loops ever seen. The loops are actually thin plasma filaments that arc over over the solar surface following magnetic field lines. Commonly, these loops are around 48.2 kilometers, but can be as small as 21 kilometers, and they were seen with the telescope's resolution limit of 24 kilometers, giving us the ability to see individual loops for the very first time. Pretty cool or hot, I guess. It's time to hot glue bones. Developed by Jung Sung Lee and colleagues at Sungyeonggwan University in South Korea, they modified a common glue gun by reducing its temperature from around 100 degrees Celsius to around 60 degrees. Then they made a material that acts as a biological glue. It's a mix of biodegradable thermoplastic called polycaprolactone and hydroxyapatite, which actually makes up 50% of the volume of normal human bones. Surgeons can then use this to fill the void in broken bones in just a matter of minutes, whereas other traditional methods like 3D printing could take a week. With the new biodegradable glue, the bone cells would be able to grow across the gaps and permanently repair the injury over some time. And they were even able to incorporate two antibacterial compounds into the glue to reduce the potential for infections. They tested this method on a centimeter long gap in a rabbit's femur bone. After three months, they tested the samples and found no signs of medical problems or separation between the bone and glue. And the bone volume was actually more than twice as high than in the control animals that were operated on using traditional bone cement. So get ready to hot glue your broken bones. For the very first time, we found a baby planet carving out gaps in the disk surrounding a newborn star. While there have been numerous papers on how disk gaps form, the exoplanet named Wispit 2b finally confirms theories about how planets are formed and how they grow. It's a baby sun-like star roughly 434 light years away. It was observed to have a large disk around it with a very large gap, and thanks to combined observations from the MAG-AOX and ESO's Very Large Telescope, they were able to observe the protoplanet Wispit-2b was the cause of the gaps. Wispit-2b is a gas giant around five times the mass of Jupiter and sits in the giant gap in the Wispit-2's disk. The process of how stars and their planets form is obviously complex. A space in a cold molecular cloud needs to compress enough that a large knot collapses from gravity. Then, as it spins, materials from the cloud form into a disk that feeds the newly growing protostar. After some time, the protostar grows so large that the temperature and pressure inside its core get so hot, they ignite nuclear fusion. Winds push the inner disk away from the star's gravitational pull, and what's left will form the star's asteroids, comets, and planets. So now you know that. Here's a DNA cassette tape. A team of Chinese researchers have developed a DNA cassette tape that, in theory, could store every music track ever recorded. They combined DNA strands with the classic cassette tape as a long-term storage medium. The team programmed the DNA bases A, T, C, and G to generate sequences that are needed to encode digital files on tape. This DNA cassette tape has a huge number of addressable data partitions, up to 1,570, that can be processed per second. The 
common cassette tape we all know can store roughly 12 tracks per side using a tape made of polyester film that's coated with magnetic particles. This new DNA cassette tape uses tape embedded with synthetic DNA molecules and coated with a sort of armor made of zeolitic imidazole that can store up to 36 petabytes of information. That's over 3 billion tracks, assuming each track is 10 megabytes. They've even created a DNA cassette drive that can remove, recover, and perform other storage operations within 50 minutes. And all of this is very cyberpunk. Okay, so robot vacuums are now climbing stairs. The Mars Walker by Eufy is the first stair climbing attachment that allows robot vacuums to catch a ride. It kind of looks like a Mars rover with a space in the middle for a robot vacuum to sit. Fold out doors open to let in the robot vacuum. It then uses four independently controlled arms with a track drive system to grip each step as it ascends and descends stairs. When it reaches the top or the bottom of the stairs, the Mars Walker's doors open, letting out the robot vacuum to do its job while it waits for it to return. It's fully autonomous and can automatically detect when one floor is done being cleaned and will climb to the next one. It can recognize straight stairs, L-shaped staircases, and U-shaped staircases while it makes a 3D map of the home and automatically returns to its dock to recharge and empty. And it's set to be released in the spring of 2026. Now let's watch a robot load a dishwasher. Helix uses one set of neural network weights to learn behaviors like placing items and picking them up, opening drawers and refrigerators, and can even be operated on two robots at the same time, allowing them to solve a task together, even with objects they've never seen before. Figure robots that are equipped with Helix can pick up almost any small household object just by following natural language prompts such as hand the bag of cookies to the robot on your right. Unlike previous robot systems, Helix can generate long horizon manipulation on the go without the need of any demonstrations or extensive programming. Now I just need it to pay my bills. And now the incredible Kodak Photo CD from 1992. Starting now, your photos have the power of television. Introducing the Kodak Photo CD. You won't believe your heart. You won't believe your eyes. Your pictures taken with your current film and camera, transferred onto a new kind of compact disc and shown on TV. The special Photo CD player also plays audio CDs. Your pictures have never been so powerful. The new Kodak Photo CD system. You've got to see it.